Hey guys, OzGorillas here, and today we're going to do a thorough walkthrough on how to stream from your Xbox to Streamlabs OBS without a capture card. Uh, yes, we do have video on this already. This is going to be a more thorough walkthrough for more of the beginner to streaming kind of people. Um, if you want to watch the quicker video, the link will be up there and in the description below. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright guys, uh, we're not going to do an intro here, just make sure you hit that sub button and let's get into it. Alright, so here we are and this is what we will look like as if we're going into Streamlabs OBS for the first time. Um, and what I've got here is a scene called Test, you'll have whatever scene there. First, what we're going to do is hit the login down the bottom left here. And then we'll be able to select which streaming platform we want to go to. Um, so you just click on that and then log into your account normally. This will help when we hit the go live later on and it'll stream straight to your platform of choice. Um, so what we want to do to start with is go to our sources here. We want to add a new source and we want that to be display capture. This will capture what is on your screen and this is how we're going to capture the Xbox companion app. So we're going to hit add source and we're going to do display capture. As this will be the first time, we won't actually have that already. So we're going to add a new source and we're going to call it, we'll just do display capture. We'll keep it at that and do two because I already have it in another scene that I was testing with. So we go add source and then it will ask which display. So if we're using just one monitor, obviously that's the one. If you're using two monitors that are connected to the computer, not the one you're gaming on, then you'd pick the one that you want, that you're not really going to use to read your chat. Um, and that's where you'd put the companion app. But if you just had the one, obviously you'd pick that. So then we're going to hit done. And now here you can see, it's not fitting the screen entirely. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go transform and fit to screen. So there we go there. Now we have got that screen captured, right? Now, so if we wanted to add some overlays or something like that, we'll just go to sources again, go to say image, just leave that as image, we'll go browse, and say we'll just put in, just for this one, we'll just put in the Australian flag. That's bigger than the whole thing, so we just script that down. Now see how that is coming up above the display capture there? So you need to have everything ab listed above display capture in your sources. If you had the image under, you wouldn't see it anymore. So if people are having problems getting their overlays to show, you have to make sure they're listed above the display capture. So so we have that there like that. Um, that's gonna be showing on the stream. Now we're gonna try and display capture our Xbox companion app. So we're gonna bring the Xbox companion up now you have to have Windows 10 to have the Windows um, Xbox console app. So if you're on a Mac, check out this video here of how to do it from a Mac. Um, this, you have to have Windows 10 for this console companion. So we'll open this up. Now notice how this is gonna be, this is on the screen uh, where your Streamlabs is and it's picking it up. If you've got two monitors, obviously on your other screen where your OBS isn't. So what we're gonna do here is you go down here to the bottom left and you hit connection. I'm gonna turn my Xbox on. No, it doesn't matter, I'll turn it on. Now what you wanna do here is to make sure your computer and your Xbox are on the same network. It's better if they are connected to your router via an ethernet cable. Um, do not connect the Xbox and the PC together via an ethernet cable both of them to the router so that that would make it a lot better being hardwired um, but you can do it you can do it from um, Wi-Fi as well so it's not going to be as good so now we're connected to the Xbox one and what we're going to do is click stream and it's going to bring up the Xbox And there we go. So we've got the Xbox up on our screen now, like this. So, you know, you can move around with the controller, whatever. So the Xbox is up. On 
as this screen is right now would be what we would be seeing on the stream plus the Australian flag up there so what we do is just um, hit Windows and then we go back to Streamlabs OBS and you see it's gone now that means it's not gone completely so what you would do then is hit the go live to go live and you would bring up the companion app again and this is what you would leave up because this is what is being captured by that display capture in Streamlabs OBS if your display capture is not capturing a screen and is coming up black it can be a common problem for older laptops who um, have issues capturing the screen if that is happening to you check this video here or I go over possible fixes for it unfortunately some of them can't be fixed and it differs from laptop to laptop and we don't actually have a list of which fixes work on which laptop so in this video um, I go through all of the different fixes and um, you can try them all to see how it goes um, but sometimes unfortunately the display capture will stay black another thing you can try in that case is window capture source or game capture source and use the xbox companion app um, as the specific window which i'll show you right now so you go to sources and you would go to say game capture Then you would go to capture specific window. And then you would go companion app, console companion, which could work. In my case, it doesn't. It does for some as well. So there's a few different fixes there as well. Um, and you try the same with window capture as well. So then for adding webcams and stuff like that, they are also in the sources list there and you would just have to make sure that they are listed above display capture. So you've got your stream up here. If you're using one monitor, you can't see your chat then because you've got this up and you're playing on your main monitor, obviously, and then your computer has got the Xbox companion app up and you're gonna struggle to check your chat. Um, so until you can get another monitor um, or get a, you know, a, a capture card, what you would do is use your phone or a tablet to check your chat. Otherwise, every time you go to check, you're gonna be coming out of the companion app to check and your stream's going to see this every time if you know what i mean so it is quite a simple process and this is a more thorough way to do it as you know there have been problems in the past and the main one is that black screen for display capture that some other people you know have had display capture up above um, and others haven't hit go live down here just hit go live streaming some haven't had their xbox and computer on the same network some are lagging because of ethernet issues if your computer might not be up to the task as well, um, check out this video here. It is, I am dropping frames, please help. Um, and it will tell you ways to make your stream run more efficiently. If your computer is a bit older, it may not be able to handle running Streamlabs. Um, and then you would need to drop your settings to be able to achieve it, um, which we, I go over in that video. All these videos are gonna be down below, as well as the setup I'm using and the links to the hardware I'm using. Um, so please check them out. Hi right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, hope it gave you a bit more of a thorough idea of how to do it um, uh, rather than just how I've done it before, which is a more you know, basic one. If you're just starting out streaming now, this one would be more uh, give you more knowledge than the last one. And if you have any problems, uh, please comment below. Um, check out the other videos as well. Check the comments. Um, sometimes there's fixes in the comments as well. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Ogrillus or Ozgrillus and uh, Instagram Ozgrillus or Discord Ozgrillus 1222. But uh, those links will be below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do. We've got plenty of videos out there um, on Streamlabs OBS streaming. We also have how to stream on Twitch. We have um, a podcast called Talking Corner. Um, so please check all of them out. And I really appreciate you guys hanging around today. So thank you.